Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, do you remember your favorite story as a child? Mine, at least one of them, was the Three Musketeers. I loved their catchphrase, one for all and all for one. That idea of mutually caring for one another, being willing to sacrifice for one another. And today's passage from the book of Philippians is going to tell us basically that same thing, but from a Christian perspective. We're looking at chapter 1, verses 7 through 8, and it says this, It is right for me to feel this way about you all because I hold you in my heart. For you are all partakers with me of grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I yearn for you all with the affection of Christ Jesus. Do you hear that phrase in there? All for one and one for all. Paul had this great passion and love for the Philippian church. And he had that because they were sharing in the ministry of the gospel together. So I see a three things that I think we can learn from this passage. Number one is to connect with those who are close to you. Have a connection of love and mutual encouragement with people who are close to you. Now, of course, you know what I'm going to say. That means you need to be in a life group right? You need to be connected with a group of people that are caring for one another and that are committed to walking with one another throughout all the ups and downs of life. The next thing that I see here is that we need to support and pray for those who are far away. So Paul is writing to a church that's far away from him, but even though they're far away, there's this mutual love because they are committed to the gospel message. So are you praying for those who are far away? I'm thinking of like missionaries or Christians that are in another country serving or reaching out or sacrificing for the sake of the gospel. Pray for them. And then if you're praying for them, let them know that you're praying for them. Let them know that you care about them and you're wanting to keep them before the throne of God and lifting up their needs. And finally, we see here this call to share the burden. Share the burden. We should not be trying to walk the Christian life alone. We should not be trying to accomplish the mission of letting other people know about Jesus alone. We have to support our missionaries financially. We need to support them through prayer. We need to be willing to uh, help them fulfill their mission. So my encouragement to you, embrace this mutual care because of the gospel, all for one and one for all. Have a blessed day, Calvary.